Oh god. <laughs> I think it's stuck in the tree. It's stuck in the tree. It's stuck in the tree. Take that, bitch. I just killed one of the mini bosses in Cyber's Mod within like three seconds. <laughs> I feel so bad. Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 16 of my Minecraft FVP Let's Play series. So, today, we're going to do quite a lot of stuff. Funny thing is, I already recorded this episode. It took about three hours, and the finished episode file was corrupt. So what I've had to do is use a backup before I started, and restart this entire episode all over again. But at least now, there was a lot of funny shit in it as well, which is unfortunate, but at least now, I'm doing it a second time. So I'm not going to fuck up on camera, am I? <laughs> so I know exactly what to do. Anyway. Okay, so... To start off... Thank you guys so much for all the comments and the suggestions you've been putting. I'm reading episode 7 comments at this very moment. Um, I've made some slime boots. Thanks guys for suggesting that. Slime boots. I also made a slime sling. It doesn't do anything. I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, I didn't make it yet. I did make it. I gotta try and remember what I did and didn't do before I did the backup. But anyway, I tried the slime sling, it did not work. Um, okay. So, it's it's really weird recording this because I'm trying to remember what I haven't and have not shown you because I already recorded it, but it was all corrupt. Anyway, I made the engineer's workbench, which just required some treated wood. So that just required some treated wood. I crafted a whole bunch of treated wood, uh, by the way. Um, I've got like a bunch of buckets here and I was... I figured out a nice way to do it, uh, but it's not automated, so still it takes a while. Um, also, we I discovered two two new ways to transfer power. We've got HV wires from Immersive Engineering, and we also have uh, laser relays from Actually Additions. So the difference between these two, the big difference is HV wires. If you touch the wires, you get a huge electric shock. So I'm going to set those up outside. For inside the house, I'm going to have laser relays. Because they the lasers don't really do anything to any mobs that go past them or yourself. They're just wireless transfer of energy. So, what we're going to do to start it off is... Um, we're going to build a giant post going all the way up to the windmill. I am going to cut most of it out because holy shit. <laughs> I think I need to craft like 48 posts or something. I can remember because already, I've already done this episode. <laughs> Um, to do this, I just need to craft posts. Cool. Alright, then we just move this down a bit. Bam. Windmill. Bam. And now, we just get the energy. So. Oh god, that was way too far. There we go. So I've already made some stuff. Um, before the episode started. Um, so we've got HV wire connectors. We're gonna need like four of those, I think. And the HV wire relays. And we're also going to need HV wire coils. I'm using high voltage, um, wires and relays and connectors because they do the most damage if you run into the wires. Which is insane. It's, it's amazing. Okay. So... We have one connector here, down here. I'm going to make sure it's not too close to the ground, because they hurt like hell. Um, then I'm going to run some wire relays. So the way these work is the connectors input and output power, whereas the relays are used for if you want to like have the power go over a great distance. If you know what I mean. Alright, cool. Then we just go here. Boom. Then the wire release. So you're about to see how much damage they do. You ready? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, they're insane. Okay. Boom. 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 There we go. All that power. <laughs> nice. Okay, so um, now we need 
to run this. Possibly over here. I'll make it look a lot nicer off camera. So I think it should be enough to go from there to here. Um, we can actually need more relays, aren't we? When I did this the first time, I didn't need more relays. I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, so instead of making more of these relays, because they're sort of annoying to make, um, and I last time I recorded this, I didn't really need that many, so I must have miscalculated something. Um, that's okay. Anyway, I was going to craft these anyway. Um, these are called the laser relays. This is the other way of transferring energy wirelessly, which is from the actually additions mod. Um, we're also going to need laser ray relay modifiers, which just requires some iron. Bam. One, two, three, four, five. No, five. What? I can't count. <laughs> uh, then we just need the wrench from the actually additions mod, which is just here. And bam. Cool. So, where are they? They're there. Let me just clean up my inventory. Cool. That's a bit low, but we'll deal with it. Um, then, I mean, I would really love to just have this go all the way over there, like it did originally in the <laughs> corrupted episode, but that's okay. Um, so then, what we can do, what we can do here is now, bam. We'll just fix this up. Bam. Bam. And... Laser relay. Right next to it. Give it an upgrade. Boom. Hit it with a wrench to link it with the wrench. Let's go inside. Ow. Go here. Place it on top. Give it an upgrade, and hit it with a wrench. Boom! We're getting energy from the windmill. Sweet! So, um, off camera, I'm gonna make this look a lot more nicer. I'm actually gonna make some more wire relays thingies. Make it look way more nicer. But, yeah, the main premise is we can now get energy from all the way up there. And anything that touches these wires outside, such as a Yalta Stalker, will just get <laughs> zapped. Cool. Alright, now let me prepare my stuff for the creeper spawner we're going to need for the gunpowder production. Alright, I just have to find a zombie. Um, because I need a zombie to make something called the Killer Joe. So once I find a zombie, I can actually show you what I mean. Oh dear, is that a Praetorian? No thanks, I don't want you being turned into, turned into a queen. You're going to die. You will die. You're going to die. Die. There we go. One day I'll find the fucking, um... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, that's one of the bosses from, um, Cyber's Mod. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Should we try kill it? Should we try kill it? Probably a really bad idea, I'm gonna do it anyway. Die, potato! Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, leave me alone! I'm trying to fight another thing. Go. Die. Oh boy. Oh god. It turned around. Oh god. <laughs> I think it's stuck in the tree. It's stuck in the tree. It's stuck in the tree. Take that bitch. The Heiko skull. Ooh. I can wear this, can't I? Oh yeah, that's fucking sick. <laughs> nice. I, I, I don't even care that um it doesn't give me armor. I just killed one of the mini bosses in Cyber's Mod within like three seconds. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, there, cool. That's what we're looking for. Now we can go back home. Sweet. <laughs> All right, we're back home. Sweet. I'm gonna make this fucking helmet. Like, I'm gonna enchant this after. This is really cool. But for now, oh wait, it's already damaged. I can't switch it back into the thing I can place on the ground. That's okay. All right, cool. Get our energy, I mean our energy, experience. Turn this zombie vial into a special thing we need. Called the Franken zombie. Cool. Uh, we're going to need a machine called the VAT. Oh, while I'm crafting this, I also forgot. Um, I also... Crafted a Xeno helmet, 
in love with memory of number six from season two and also a stolen <laughs> piece of yaocha armor that's uh awiyasa is armor in yaocha i think so if a yaocha comes up to me and notices this on me they're gonna get really mad that is the plan that that is what i want i want them to get really mad it's gonna be funny <laughs> all right I uh, still should be crafting the vat, but while I'm doing this... Nope, that is not it. Alright, the vat. So, we're going to need something called... Is it nutrient distillation, I think? Nutrient distillation? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, so, this is what powers the machine we're about to make. Not the vat. The vat is what makes it. So, um, I... Got, I think I've got some rotten flesh. It's basically mob items mixed with some sort of plant material. Gives you the distillation liquid. Um, so... Rotten flesh and some mushrooms. And this thing needs water as well. So, I'm going to go out here. And I'm going to put it on top of my infinite water source. I'm going to tell it to pull water. I'm going to put in my rotten flesh and mushrooms. Uh, this is also going to need, need a capacitor just to work. Most of the machines only use capacitors. You usually only add capacitors if you want them to run faster and more efficient. But this one actually just needs one to run. Cool. So then I just let this thing do its thing. Uh, I forgot to give it energy. I'm an idiot. That's it. There you go. Charge up. I think my battery's charging it up. Or my house, I'm not even sure. Anyway, whatever. Cool. So then and that'll start making that liquid. Okay. While that's happening, I'm going to go set up my creeper spawner. So I've done this all in preparation for this episode. Because uh, a lot of it takes a while to set up. Uh, we're going to also need our killer joe. Which is the thing that we're going to need. Um, so I just need some dark steel and fused cords. Killer joe. Tick. Uh, this thing does not need power. It just needs the liquid from that thing over here. So, that should be enough to get us started. I want you to take liquid from under here. There you go. Just one more, like half a bucket more would be nice. There we go. So... All we have to do now is make the creeper spawner. That's 16. Creeper spawner. Powered spawner. Cool. Um, Enderman area. Boom. Let's make sure this thing doesn't have any power in it. That's the... That's the that's the creeper, right? Okay, there. That's the creeper. Um, active with signal. So that will not run unless there's a signal. Because um, when I first recorded this episode, I made the horrible mistake of um, leaving the power there and forgetting about the redstone signal. And we had so many creepers everywhere. It was insane. Uh, okay, cool. So, Killer Joe goes here. I'm also going to need a, what you call it, vacuum hopper, which is like a hopper that sucks things into it. Oh god, where'd it go? Alright, cool. Vacuum hopper. Nice. Um, then... That's pretty much it. Chest there. Let's make sure this guy puts things out that way. Cool. And this thing just needs power now. And... Bada boom. And... Now I just flick the switch. Should be working. Oh, it needs a capacitor. And now... Should be working. So the way the Killer Joe works... By the way... Is you just give it some sort of weapon and it'll start bashing in front of it. And just using the weapon to kill anything that's in front of it. So if I'm going to I'm gonna give it my sword. Now, I don't want to stand in front of there because that's going to two-shot me. Because my sword is absolutely insanely strong. So what's going to happen is once the creepers spawn, the killer joe is going to use its liquid. 
and as as like a power source, and it's going to kill everything that pops up in front of it. And my sword has looting on it as well, which is really neat. So how close are you? You nearly done? Oh, here we go. Boom. See? It's great! Now this vacuum hopper only reaches like, just sort of like in front of it a little bit, so I might have to put more off camera. But that's okay. Also, I've got my magnet on, so it's pulling things as well. But yeah, you can see it's picked up gunpowder and all that. Come on, come over here. Say hello to Killer Joe. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so that's the creeper spawner done. I can just let that run. I might need to repair the sword, actually. Turn that off while I repair it. Um, what else were we going to do? That's right, we needed a metal press, right? Metal press. Metal press. Um, is this the projector for the metal press? Yeah. So we need to make a metal press. Uh, this is going to require some immersive engine. This is an immersive immersive engineering item that allows us to make gun, like gun shells and stuff. If that makes any sense. All right. Let me just get the stuff I need. All right. So the way multi blocks work in the immersive engineering mod is. I mean, basically, you craft a projector, and then it shows you what you need to place down in order to... I mean, what you need to place down in what order. Uh, you're, you're about to find out. So, a projector tells us what we need to... where we need to place things. We can also use the book, uh, but we're not going to use the book, because we want to have fun. Some fun. Um, why is the projector not working? Hmm. Okay, I thought I knew how to use the projector. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to need to craft the book. Pretty easy. Engineer manual. There we go. I need the metal press. Cool. So, we're going to need a few different things. Two steel scaffolding, one redstone engineering block, one piston, one conveyor, uh, two conveyor belts, and one heavy engineering block. Alright, steel scaffolding is going to require us to get some steel. Boom. Boom, boom. Uh, let's do this. Steel rods. Uh, bam. We don't need that much. Holy shit. Enderios? Where the fuck did I get these? I don't know. I'm just going to eat it anyway. Ah! <laughs> Why did I not I didn't expect that? It's Enderios. Come on. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. And heavy engineering block. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's pick up my projector again, even though I don't know how the fuck to use it. And let's build it. Okay, so... Might as well build it here. How big is it? It's like, it's really, it's pretty tiny. Okay, so... Scaffolding goes... Bloop, bloop. Redstone engineering block goes... Bloop. Piston... Where's my piston? Okay, piston! Uh, boom. Then the heavy engineering block on top. And the conveyor belts on either side. Okay. Does it really matter if I place them incorrectly? Is this still gonna work? I don't know. We're about to find out. Yeah, which 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 thing do I right click? Is it like the redstone? Which what about find out? Click the piston with the engineer's hammer. Boom! Oh yeah! Look at that! Sweet! So how's this work? Do we just like whoop? Oh yeah, it needs power. Derp. Um that looks like the power input. Okay. Wait, oh, no work. 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 Okay, I'm learning many things. I need to actually get a metal press mold. So there's different molds we can get. So the one we want is the bullet casing. Which just requires some steel, engineering, engineer's wire cutter, and metal press molds, engineering blueprint. 
so that's just going to require some crafting. Alright, so that's Metal Press Molds Engineering Blueprint, and this is where we finally um, start using the engineer table. Uh, we're also going to need... Um, no, no, that's fine. Okay, we don't need that. So, put that in there. Uh, get rid of some of the steel. Where's the steel? We need more steel. Where's my steel? Oh well. Bam. And bam. And the cutters. Hey, cool! Then we can choose which one we want. That one! Let's get that one. Okay. Let's do that. And then... Whoop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool! Oh, wow, that's awesome. Nice. Um, so if I do this... Should just do it automatically, right? No? Oh, that's sick. Wow. Can I just put the whole thing on there? <laughs> nice. So, um... What we need next is... The shell casing. Yeah, the bullet casing. I'm pretty sure. Let me just right-click that. Put that in there. Um, and then we're up to bullets. Wow. Sweet. So what we can do, instead of doing it like this, um... I think we can literally just chuck, chuck copper in there and we get empty casings. I also craft it, apparently. I think it's mm, a little bit more efficient doing the metal press, which is one of the reasons why we made it. So... Can I just do this? Does this, does this work? No. Probably needs a hopper or some sort. I don't know. Or a dropper. I don't know. We're about to find out. Okay, cool. So let's chuck copper there. Is that going to work? Yep. Nice. So, um... Let's see if a hopper works. Hey, it works! Sweet. Um, the only problem I'm having is because my magnet is going ballistic. Where's my magnet? Let me turn it off. Hey, there we go. I wonder if they despawn on the conveyor belt. I wonder if that's a thing. Casings? Cool, we've got casings. Then we just mix the empty shells of gunpowder and aluminum dust. We also need um, specialized... No, wait, it depends which, which one we want to make. We'll just start, up, start off with the normal ones, um, the casuals. Easy to make ones. Gunpowder and lead ingots. Okay, um, we needed the other engineering blueprint, which is common projectiles. We just need some more paper. Bam. Lead ingots, and gunpowder. And I think it was this. Nope. Oh, empty shells. Dork. Okay, I make I made the metal press one again by accident. Whoops. We actually need common projectiles, which is gunpowder, copper, and more lapis. There we go. Common projectiles. Wow, what was that? Cool. Bam bam. Uh bam and empty casings. Bam. Oh that's sick. We just made seven bullets. Now the sentry guns, which are pretty easy to craft. Granted, I have... Nope, that's not it. Turrets. The gun turret. This just requires some um, more crafting. Okay. Okay, so we finally got the revolver ready. I actually sort of want to make one of these. I'm, I'm curious, can I... Can I use the ammo I already have for this? <laughs> uh, where is it? Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Uh, now we just need to mix the revolver with a bunch of other stuff. Alright, I think we are so close to finishing it. Do we have everything we need? It only took, like, forever. Yes! Gun turret. Sweet. Yeah! Let's, uh, let's set it up over here, actually, to start off with. Because I want to protect my immersive engineering area. Cool! Okay, so. I want you to shoot everything except me. Tick. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we just need to give it some power. Let's go boom. And boom. And boom. Cool. Now, just gotta make sure I don't fucking stand in that. Um, then we just need some ammunition. Ah! That, that is one of the reasons why I need to change it as soon as I can. Alright, can this stop, please? I, I heard enough. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, you, come here. Wait, you, come here. Yeah, that's right, you come here. Come here. Come here, into the sword. Thank you. Jump in there. Gunpowder. Awesome. I just need more casings now, don't I? I'll make some more casings. But the basic premise nearly ran into that again. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I need to change it off camera. Um, bullets. Cool. Then... Go grab an enemy. All right, we have a we have a zombie. Let's go. Oh shit! I gotta turn it on. That's right. Uh, where's my hammer? Ah. Hammer, hammer, hammer. I gotta. Oh, oh my god! I'm nearly running to. It. Ah fuck! <laughs> Mission success! Ah. Oh. oh Jesus. I've only been recording for- oh my god, it's 2.30pm, I've been recording since 10am. Oh my god. Finally done. That's the premise. We now have functional turrets. Whew. Okay. Once I set up a few more of these, fix up all the wiring, pretty sure Nanku should be good to come out. He'll be safe. Oh my god. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.